In this lesson, we're going to add an empty space. You know, if you notice with the trend of web design now, you have a lot of space, you know, which is like the open, you know, the flat design. So it gives, you know, gives so much room for you to add other content. All right, so let's just click save. But in order for you to see this, you would have to add some additional items on the page. So let's go ahead and just add some items here. The accordion. And let's add something else, the animated number. Okay, right now the empty space is at the very top. So you have to make sure that you, you put it in between. But let's save this first so you can see what it looks like. So with the empty space right now, you don't see anything here at the very top. So what we're going to do is we're going to move that empty space and put it in between uh, the animated number and the accordion. So let's move that. And then we want to modify the settings here. You know, how much gap do you want? So we're going to change this from 20. Let's put that to 70. When it's in 70, you notice that there's a huge space here. You know, big, big space, very noticeable. So you use that sometimes if you want to separate item uh, from, from different things. The other one was the divider. And then this one, I was just an empty space. So there are times when you just want to have a blank section where you don't really want anything in there. Uh, this is the best place that you can use the empty space to um, to fill that up. 